Okay, guys, today we can learn the brachial plexus in the five minutes or maybe less time. Uh, what you need to do, prepare the pencil or pen and notebook to draw together with me. The brachial plexus contains the neural connection between the neck and brachial nerves. The speedy method helps simplify understanding the diagram of the brachial plexus. So draw the two headless arrows to the right next you need to draw another headless arrow to the left but a little bit shorter as compared to the previous drawn to in the middle previously then you need to add the W Add an X. Add one slopey slash, you can say, or Y, to making just a branch. Then on the left side, you can write down C5, C6, C7, C8, and the T1, as we know that. The brachial plexus is actually formed by the roots of this starting from the C5 to the ending at the T1. And on the another hand, you can mark down the musculocutaneous as MC, median as M, and the ulnar as U, and the middle arrow here, you can mark down as the R, as the radial, and uh, AX as the auxiliary nerve. So in this diagram, we are having the main branches from the root to the main branches. And these are the five main branches of the branch plexus. Need to remember them, must need to remember them, okay? So to going on to the more complex, we need to include the three S. It means that we are going to include the three on each error okay so neurosurgeon neurologist psychiatrist anatomist all, all use this system diagram so let's see that the first three we are going to put here by joining the c5 c6 and the c7 when you join them together as a result you got the nerve we call at the long thoracic nerve in the previously i have talked about in the posterior scapular region the long thoracic nerve is innervating the serratus anterior muscle and the damaging of this nerve is leading us to the clinical what we call that ringing of scapula next we got here the another three here and on the upper arrow so label them as DSN that is representing the osso-scapular nerve and here the SS representing the suprascapular nerve LP is representing as the lateral pectoral nerve next another three we need to add up here so let's label them as SS as the subscapular you need to remember to differentiate these SS are different above one supra below one is subscapular okay so proximal and the distal subscapular and uh, also you can say medial and the lateral or upper and the lower so in the middle that this one is the thoracodorsal nerve okay so the final three we put here the bottom and let's label them as the MP medial pectoral nerve upper we quote the lateral pectoral medial pectoral and then these two are actually the cutaneous sorry medial brachial cutaneous and medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve okay and need to remember that brachial is going to the arm 
and the anti break is going to the forearm and forearm I'm surely that going distally now let's divide it and label it as the root trunks divisions chords and the terminal branches so root how many roots have we got one two three four five so how many roots the brachyplex is having five from c5 to t1 next question the trunks how many trunks it got three upper middle lower each trunk is going to divide into two branches anterior posterior anterior posterior anterior posterior next we got here how many chords three chords lateral medial and the posterior chord now what happened here very interesting all the trunks their posterior division is going to join together and making the posterior chord the upper and the middle trunk anterior division both join together and make a little chord and the lower trunk anterior division alone or you can say the continuity of the anterior division of the lower trunk is going to make the middle chord and then the terminal branches let us talk about lateral and the medial chord join together and as a result giving the median nerve and upper portion musculocutaneous and lower is the ulna the continuation of the posterior chord terminating as the axillary and continuing as the radial nerve one thing we are still missing in this picture let's see yeah a small branch here this small branch is going to a very small muscle under the clavicle we call that subclavius muscle so the nerve to the subclavius muscle so that's the bracket plexus if you have any question then you can contact with me thank you